Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for an epic Code Blocks lesson, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to build a part we can use a ton. We're going to build a ladder, and I'm going to explain a little bit why we do what we do. So let's start by hitting Create New Code Block. When this pops up, make sure you also hit New Design when it appears. The first step is always to name them. I'm going to put Ladder and I'm going to put MDH so I can keep track of whose it is. Friends, when we build, the final thing we create is a part, and we use objects to make the part. When you make your objects, keep them in the center of your screen, and then when you turn them into your final part, move them to the locations where they're useful. I'll explain that a little more as we go on. Right now, let's start by clicking Modify and bringing out our first object. Now, I want to make a ladder. So this ladder is going to have something called a rung. Click on rename variable and type rung. We're going to have many of these that go up the ladder. Friends, the first shape we're going to play with is the box. When you bring out a box for the rung, which is what we stand on, I'm going to tell you that a good size is 30. I'm going to tell you that a good length towards you is 5. And then let's make a height of 2 so it's thin. I also want it a little bit rounded, so I'm going to put two for the edge. And when I hit play, you can see that it just drew one rung. Now, I want you to understand we leave this at zero, zero until we're all finished. I do like to raise it up so that it's level. So remember how its height was two? I'm going to simply go to modify. I'm going to find a move. And if the height was two, I'm going to change Z to one, which is half of that. Now, when I hit play, you can see it lines up right where it's supposed to. All right, friends, so object one is created, the rung. The next thing we need is object two. Once again, bring it out, hit rename, and this is going to be called the rail. These will be the sides of the ladder that these connect to. So, my friends, now let's bring out a box for that rail. I'm going to make it a different color. I'm going to go with gray just for fun. I'm going to make its width two because that's going to be the outside edge. The length is going to be five, and I want the height to be 120. I am going to round it, so I'm going to put a two. Let's hit play and see how it looks. So right there, friends, you have the sides of your ladder. So then the last step of this project, we've got object one and object two. Now we're going to build our final part with another new object. Now for this one, we're going to rename it, and it's going to be actually called ladder because this is the final piece. It's going to be built with these objects, and we're going to do that by bringing out the add a copy of an object. I'm going to add the rails first. Go to data, find your rail, and then we need to move the rails to the outside edge. Modify, move. This is X. Remember that we made it 30 wide. So if we type negative 15 and hit play, we will have one of these rails all the way out on the edge. Remember this part was 120 high, so let's change Z to 60 and hit play. This is also nice because it shows you our original part is going to be deleted later, so we can ignore it. Don't let it bug you. We're going to duplicate these two pieces, and if one is at negative 15, friends, the other is at 15. This is how when you start to understand the math, it makes it easier for you to build. Let's add our rungs with an amazing count width, and let's start with 10 rungs. Once again, we're going to add a copy of the rung. Go to your data, find the rung, and then every time it adds a rung, we want it to move. So I'm going to go back to modify, and let's drop a move in there. A really cool way to change the height is by using math. If we click on math, bring out a math chunk. Turn it to multiplication. And then we've got this awesome variable i that grows by ones. Bring out i and put it in the first chunk. And then in the second chunk, decide how much you want it to increase each time. I'm going to test 10. I'm also, at this point, going to get rid of this center post because I'm done with it. We clean things up by bringing out a modify, and then we want to delete that original rail. 
So friends, now when we hit play, watch this all come to life. There is my first rung, rail one, rail two, and you can see the ladder climbs up. I can check my height and see if I have enough of them. And then when it's done, it will actually delete that little part. So I do not have enough. My rail is gone, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna fix this by quickly speeding it up, changing this to 11, and then I want the bottom rung gone. So once again, I can duplicate this delete object, throw out the word rail, and replace it with the word rung. Let's see how that looks. That's a pretty sweet ladder. I think it's too wide though, so watch this. Because we're working with code, I can change it to 20. Now when I hit play, you'll see that they don't connect. All I need to do is change my math. Where before this was 15, now because I'm using 20, half of 20 is 10 and half of 20 is 10. If I hit play now, I think that is a fantastic ladder. Alrighty friends, so please store all that away. You build with objects that finally make a part, leave them in the center, and then arrange them when you make the real part, and then down at the bottom get rid of those originals so it looks clean and awesome. Friends, when you're done, do make sure you pick the color you want. I like mine to be blue and silver, because that's how I roll. And then you can also hit export and export it as a part. When you do this, you can name it. So I'm gonna call mine ladder and you could add tags. Don't lock the part size, and then you can save it so you can use it in normal Tinkercad. I've got a project I'm gonna sign where it's an awesome treehouse. This is a fantastic way for you to get in your treehouse. If you haven't seen that lesson, there will be a link up above. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when is a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.